Hi, today I am going to make double hibiscus, a very pretty flower, very easy to make. Materials required are crepe paper in red, green, thin wire, a thick wire, some tissue paper, green floral tape and these are acrylic colors in yellow and red. All the measurements are in centimeter. This is the stencil for petal A. This is 4 by 2.75 centimeters. Cut one piece per flower. This is of petal B. This is 4.5 by 3 centimeters. Cut three pieces per flower. This is of petal C. This is 6 centimeters by 3 centimeters. Cut eight pieces per flower. And this is of the stamen. This is 1.5 by 3.5. Cut one piece per flower. This is of petal D. This is 7.5 by 4.5 centimeters. Cut five pieces per flower, and this is these are of the sepals. The bigger one is three by three point five centimeters, and the smaller one is two by two. Cut one piece each, and this is of the leaves. This is four centimeters by three, and eight centimeters by six point five centimeters. Cut as many as you like. For the flower, first cut a piece of thin wire, and this would be around sixteen centimeters long. Now I've cut a small strip of the red paper. This is half a centimeters by about 2.5 centimeters. And now take the red color. Actually, it should be dark brown in color, dark maroonish red, and just color the top of the strip like so. So I'll just let it dry. So now just take this and make five cuts on it, about half a centimeter long. So you should have five of these. Now just apply glue. Take the wire and stick it on this. Like this. Now you can open them. Look like this. Now take some tissue paper and cut off about one inch wide piece from it fold it apply glue and wind it from you know just leaving a little bit on the top Like so. Take the piece for the stamen and the yellow color, and again in the same manner as we did earlier, just color the edge with yellow. Like so. And we'll just leave it to dry. After this is dried, just make fine cuts on it. leaving a little on the other side. Like this. 
Now just apply glue. And wind it starting from the red area and taking it down, you know, at an angle. Like this. Now, just very gently, just open them out. Like so. Now cut a thin strip from the uh, red paper just to wind it and these are uh, petal A so first just take it crush it up like this and then twist it now you can even just like crush it like so then open it out you don't need to open the whole thing just you know, just like this much so it remains bent and this is petal B so in the same way first give uh, pleats like this and then just twist it and just gently open it And give a few crimps if you wish like so so now just take the strip stretch it apply glue first just wind it covering about 2 centimeters or 3 centimeters and take this petal A wind it on this and then just give a little wind and then put these the petal B's difference between the other hibiscus and this one is that you know the uh, other hibiscus have clean five petals at the base of the uh, stem of this distal stem but these uh, the petals seem to come off from this stem I have taken another strip like this now in the same manner I have done the other eight petals petal C and the five big petals petal D I have twisted them and stretched them a bit so first I will just take these so these would be very close to each other Just keep attaching them and winding the paper. Now 
so they should be very close to each other all the petals like this now just attach the big ones so these should be attached properly and then one after the other like this so I will just get another strip and attach all of them take the sepal just apply some glue and wind it on the flower, the base of the flower take the second piece of the sepal, the smaller one and cut five long triangles on it, thin ones like so, stretch it a bit apply glue and put it at the end of the first sepal take the green tape Like this. I'll just open these out. And then the flowers. Just open them out. First the big ones. And then the small ones. Just press them out a bit. And if you feel that they are looking too crimped, you can always stretch them open to give that fuller appearance. So, for instance, I can just stretch it a bit at the base. smaller ones also if you wish so this is how the flower would look for the leaf this is for a small leaf so cut about 7 cm long and take the thick uh, the green tape Wind it on the wire and take the leaf and first just score lines on it to show the veins. Turn it over, apply glue. And 
and stick it on this. So you have a leaf like this. So I have made the other one in the same way. Now to assemble it all, you just take a long piece of the tape. Stretch it. So first I'll take the small leaf to show the end of the branch and leave about you know about two centimeters of the stem of the leaf and then wind a bit and take the flower so this would have about uh, four to five centimeters long stem you know the pedicel so just stretch it or uh, sorry the wind it and then take the bigger leaf So this is how it looks. I'll just open it out. So like this. So this is how the flower would look.